With more and more new wireless environmental monitoring technology coming onto the market, all claiming to do the same or better than others, it's becoming increasingly difficult for individuals to determine the suitability of wireless solutions for their applications. Wireless range differs dramatically between protocols such as Wi-Fi, Zigbee, Bluetooth and LoRa. But Hamwell's radio protocol remains unrivaled, reaching far beyond these. And we're prepared to put it to the test. In this video, we're on site at the Hamwell offices, where Hamwell service manager Jim Ryan will demonstrate a signal strength test in the field. Hi, I'm Jim Ryan, Hamwell service manager. Today I'm going to walk you through a, a quick example of how we do a signal strength test. Uh, this will show you how far our products really transmit in a typical environment. This is our signal strength meter that we use for signal strength testing. Um, as you can see, there's a green LED uh, which lights up when the specified ID uh, has been received. Uh, you can also see a uh, number indicator. Uh, this is in reference to the signal strength and the number should remain over 90 for a good signal. For a simple test, I'm going to put the sensor, uh, this sensor in the fridge, shut the door, check the signal strength on the signal strength meter. You can see it's at 207, which is uh, nearly full strength. Uh, but to show you in a, a typical environment, I'm going to shut the doors, walk to the end of the office, uh, and take a signal uh, strength test. There. As you can see, with both doors shut at the end of the office, we are still getting uh, nearly uh, full strength at 207. Much of our competitors will not achieve this uh, level of signal strength. It's important to close doors during a signal test, as we don't know what materials are contained within the doors. Certain materials, such as metals, can cause significant reduction in radio transmissions. So now we've demonstrated how easy the handmore signal deals with internal space full of obstacles. We want to see just how far the signal can travel. Let's walk outside where I will take six readings from the business park here at Hanwell. This time I'll be taking the transmitter out of the fridge, sticking it in ambient air. This is a, an application we see across uh, multiple industry sectors. Just to see how far a uh, signal can travel, let's go outside. Sensor is placed in the room above. And there you have it, a simple signal strength test, uh, which has revealed that we can cover the whole of the business park without the need for a repeater. 
one repeater from the top left of the business park would double the coverage for larger sites. Our competitors would need a number of repeaters to cover the same uh, area, uh, which will end up costing you a lot more money.